A very warm welcome to all of you from Old Trafford, Manchester. The teams then, Manchester United against Leicester. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Begley. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I've got to go for the mastermind in midfield, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Composed and totally unfazed when in the middle of a very tough contest, he has an air of authority about him and he's usually the one in control. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Vasilevsky. Fence has got rid of that. Oh, nice touch, that's beautiful. Oh, great save, real class. And that's a really instinctive stop too. Great reflexes to make it happen. I thought he showed class there. Tries a through ball. Smalling fires it in low. It's Memphis to pie! Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Steinsteiger. Rooney. Out to the left it goes. Where to from here? Lofted into the middle. Cut out in the nick of time. It's in! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Manchester United go ahead, one goal to the good. And it's Okazaki. Okazaki tries to head towards goal. He's missed another one. Leicester have been enjoying as good an attacking spell as, as he could wish for, and yet they've been incredibly wasteful. I mean, they could have wrapped it up by now, and it's, it's not going right for them. Repelled by the keeper. Now it's Martial. Smalling, conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Leicester are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. The only consolation at this stage is that they've got a lot of time on their side. You try to find a positive for any eventuality, and while an early concession is unwanted, they can recover this. Leicester have been mighty impressive away from home, unbeaten in five. Martial... Out wide to the right. Keeper's ball. Leicester, now the league's top scorers, formidable in front of goal. Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's Okazaki. Lovely feet. Crunching tackle. Manchester United with their manager to thank for the last result. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top and he tweaked the system to sort it out. And what I like is that he doesn't hold back, he's got that who-dares-wins mentality and he really goes for it. Aimed long and direct. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. And he's made certain that won't get through. 
Hoot. Fuchs. Fuchs. Fine defending there. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? A chance! Superb from Okazaki! They have done it! They have their equaliser! Oh, even a section of the opposition fans are applauding that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that. If you connect well, it will swerve and dip all over the place. It's just so hard to predict. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, I love watching games like this when both teams are given everything they've got to try and win it. This is all the makings of a cracker. Fellaini. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Hurtles into the tackle. Leicester can't seem to retain possession. Chance! He scores! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Well, once upon a time I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days and we've just seen it again. Leicester go into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. To the final five minutes of the first half. Leicester scoring two goals in next to no time to complete the comeback. Fellaini tries to get it forward quickly. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Okazaki puts his foot on the gas. Hit long and direct. Looking to force his way through. Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. It's Damian. Okazaki. With the ball through. He'll have a dip! And he's been judged offside. That'll be the last act of the first half. Very little in it. The score at half-time is two goals to one. now superb from Okazaki and with that goal comes comfort that was glorious pinpoint accuracy you know it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that if you connect well it will swerve and dip all over the place it's just so hard to predict Leicester, two up and into a position of real strength. 
Well, I think that two-goal cushion they've just manufactured is a fair reflection of what we've seen up to now. It also adds to the, the psychological divide between the two teams. It could make a big difference. to hoof it away. Vasilevsky. Damian goes on a charge down the left. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Leicester settled for a point from that gripping game last time out. Vasilevsky drives forward with purpose. Vasilevsky, a chance! Has a swing at it! To be fair, that was tough for the keeper to handle. Vasilevsky. And it's Dyer. It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with absolutely the right commitment. It's the channel. Vasilevsky. Pass. And the flag has stayed down. Rooney. Away from immediate danger. Hoists it high. Nice little flick. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Leicester may be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. Tries lifting it over. Kasper Schmeichel comes out and deals with it. Progress he's made on the ball, goes wide, Dyer, he's onside. And it's Martial. Fuchs. Rooney passes it through, and now they can launch a counter. The purest possible contact, what a fabulous strike. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that in. This is threatening to become a really good game. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. That's the throw. Okazaki looks to slip it through for Laney. He's a clever pass. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Hoot. Goes long. He's managed to get it away. It's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Dyer, can he deliver? Nicely controlled. Martial. And he has been fouled there. Like a good ball through. He's had a shot! In it 
goes. Manchester United are back on level terms. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? This has become one superb game of football. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Forward. What does he try from here? He's gone for it! Oh, should have put that away. You get the feeling that whoever scores the next goal here will be the winners of this type. They can't afford to waste chances like that, though. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Swept in. He goes long. Damian gets into the right position to intercept. This is intriguing. Next goal critical. Yes, and what a battle this has been. Neither is showing any sign of backing off. It's a tribute to wonderful attitude to put everything they've got into attempting to gain that vital edge. Thrust towards the front line. Martial. He's got away with one there. Oh, look, I don't need to tell you that that is not a good area to lose possession in. And should it be repeated, I think there's a real chance that the next time they're going to be punished for it. Well, time is running out. They need to start pushing forward. Spoon forward. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Chance! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. it in gently, dinked in, just the goalkeeper to beat, he's away! Tries to stroke it through, oh surely that deserved better. Oh that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Defence can get it clear. Oh, the ball's come loose! The referee's awarded a free kick. Gets it upfield. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. What a game, wonderful stuff and the right result. Neither side really deserved to lose.